key point is understanding your risk tolerance as well. How much volatility, as I explained, if you had $100,000 and you don't want to see your assets go down to $95,000, uh, then potentially ethical cash is your only option. But if you're comfortable waiving the ebbs and flows of the market, uh, then you can take a higher level of risk with the idea that over the longer term you're going to get a higher level of, of return. So risk and return are very much related, the same, two different sides of the same coin. Vias, when will the returns in percentage be available for year ending 30th of June 2012? If you look at the Christian Super um, website, each month they um, announce their or, or publish their returns. So you can go to the investment returns page on Christian Super's website. I'll just show you that so you can get an idea of the level of returns. And, and Christian Super, Peter didn't really want to mention it, but Christian Super has done well uh, this financial year comparative to other, other funds. But if we choose investments and then investment returns, that'll take us to the, the range of options. And you can see here in the now this is in the superannuation fund. We've gone to the 31st of July now, so it's actually beyond the financial year. Uh, but if you look at the one year return, ethical balance has been you know, 4.57. If you look at ethical cash, 4.53. Uh, ethical high growth 1.37 and that's the nature of the, the return so they're available each month and they come out uh, each month I think you can click here and you can get more historical returns but they're available to you all the time but you'll get your member statements in the post in the next month or two as I understand it so it might be a couple of months away but uh, they're being prepared at the moment I think Peter mentioned they're trying to get the annual report out as soon as they, they possibly can so understanding your risk tolerance the negative side of risk tolerance is that you might think I'm not prepared to see my hundred thousand dollars in my super fund go down to ninety five thousand dollars in negative in a negative year and therefore I want to be in ethical cash the problem with that type of decision is and this is how you're making your decision you're basically deciding based on how much risk you're prepared to take if you decide the risk and then you decide I'm only going to be in the ethical cash option that means that you're going to fix a return of between four and five percent generally that's what the historical return has been. That means that it's going to determine your particular lifestyle. If you've got sufficient funds to provide for your lifestyle when your retirement assets are generating a 5% return, fantastic, that's great. You can do that. You can take that very low level of risk, get the 4 or 5% return and provide for your lifestyle. But if that scenario isn't going to provide for your needs, then you need to start to think about, well, even though I would prefer not to take the risk, I actually will take some risk because I want to make sure that I'm able to have a higher probability of, re of uh, achieving my goals, achieving a higher level of return, in order to, the, to give the option that I actually might be able to achieve my goals, achieve my financial and therefore my life goals. So the other option, rather than making the decision based on how much risk you're prepared to take, is that you'd, you'd make the decision based on your lifestyle. So you say, or lifestyle or financial goals, however you describe that. But say for example you, you need $400,000 of retirement assets to live on and you've only got $200,000. Then you need to plan out, well I need a particular level of return if I'm going to retire at this particular point in time and, and therefore I would, whilst I would prefer not to take more risk, I'm going to take a little bit more risk than I'm prepared to take uh, because I need a certain level of return. That means that I'm going to take this particular option, it might be you know ethical high growth, it might be ethical growth, it might be ethical balance or stable, but you're going to take a higher level of risk than you're prepared to take, More invest in more growth assets than defensive assets, and therefore you're taking a higher level of risk with the idea that you're going to potentially achieve your results, whereas if you took the, the risk directed approach, uh, then you might not achieve your goals. On the flip side, risk and return are related, so you could be actually worse off. But that's where it gets down to having the time frame to see your investments uh, perform over the longer term. Because over the long term, uh, it, history repeats itself, and we'll look at that uh, over the next couple of slides. So hopefully I've presented that, that concept well, that just moving to ethical cash might be good to ensure that your assets don't fall in value, but you need to also understand whether they are going to help you or, or achieve what you want to achieve in life as well.